Hello everyone, welcome back to Poetic Fitness. Today we've got Power Yoga Hit for flexibility and balance. Gonna be some challenging moves, some moves that may just be extra easy for you. Either way, try your best today. Modify where you can when needed. If I can show you a modifier, I will. Otherwise, you just do the best you can to stick with these moves. 50-10 um, tempo, 10 moves, two times through. Uh, challenge yourself but don't hurt yourself. Um, what else do we have other than to hit that button? You know when that button's pushed? It's a five second countdown until we get started. I'm close to the first move, so I can show you that as soon as I ask the magic eight ball what today's question is. Do you crack or pop your joints? So I guess with the yoga, you may feel some minor adjustments, some, some joints popping enjoy that. Do you crack your neck on your own? Do you crack your fingers? Do you pop your joints? Let me know. I pop almost every joint I could possibly pop. Yeah, or crack. First move is going to be a scorpion to a lizard lunge twist. So very simply, we'll be in this lizard lunge, which the foot, the hand, the foot will be out the side of the hand. We will twist one direction. We'll twist the other direction. And then we will Come up to a scorpion and back to the same side. Sorry, I got a little, a little stuttery there. So right side, back, twist, twist. Enough flapping, you've seen it, you know it. If you don't, you'll get it. Let's go. <laughs> all right, sorry for all the hiccups, but we got five seconds. We're gonna start with this right foot out front and in two seconds, we're gonna go right hand up, left hand up, and then right foot in the air, bring that right foot back out next to the hand, and then twist, one, twist, two. Challenge yourself, and if you can't keep up with my speed or you're going faster, that's fine. Just remember, we're hitting one side first, we're hitting the other side after this one, and we're just keeping on putting that right foot out beside the hand and turning just a little in case you're watching to give you the extra views and also control slow down when needed and do not close the eyes five seconds three two one way to work pop the shoulders if you need to if my timer falls out i mean my Microphone falls out, sorry. Okay, left foot forward, hand, foot beside the hand. We twist one side, we twist the other side. And I'm not dropping my back foot down as I twist both directions. However, if you need to drop here, you can spin it out kind of like a warrior. And then we just put that foot back in the air, lizard. So you're taking that foot and putting it out beside the hand. Replacing your hands and feet to the same spot each time and be ready to challenge yourself. And as we wind down into the next move, I will show you that move during the break. You have 10 seconds left. The next move is pretty easy. Break, it's gonna be a runner lunge. So right foot will be forward. It's a runner lunge which is like this, up to a, sorry, a run, runner lunge to a low lunge. Runner lunge, low lunge. You saw the title, so no matter what, whether I could spit it out or not, you saw the title. But we're going stretching the back leg, hands up, good stretch, and then you try to straighten that front leg out, and we're just going back and forth. Use your core here. This may seem simple, but what this is gonna do, it's gonna stretch those legs out. And it's actually challenging that hamstring. If you can't straighten that front leg all the way, that's fine, do your best. In 10 seconds, we get ready to switch. I'm gonna try to stop stuttering, and you're gonna let me know whether or not you can crack your joints, your neck, your back, your neck and your back. Uh-oh. More movie quotes. What movie's that one from? Okay, we're on the other side now, so 
We stretch forward so you're getting up the whole side. You're stretching that quad. And then as you come down and you pivot to that heel, you get that hamstring deep. You can hold those stretches a little longer if you want. Otherwise, get a good stretch and move on to the next. Keep moving back and forth. That's the challenge, the active stretch. So good for lengthening the muscles. We always work so hard compacting the muscles, pushing them. If you do a lot of strength training, this is great to help you balance all that out and lengthen those muscles. You're gonna see more. You're gonna benefit so much more adding these types of workouts in. Five seconds, we get ready for the next move. It's a crescent lunge switch. So here on your break, I'll show you. You're gonna go crescent lunge, down, switch, other foot forward, crescent lunge. You can go with the lizard and then you can just switch or just put both feet down, go back, plank, switch. Your choice. Sometimes a lizard just kind of happens and it's like, hey, look at that. I like that lizard. Whoa, switch it. Yeah, there we go. I'll get this one of these days. And the next move will be very similar, except we'll change it and do a forward fold in between. And there's gonna be a twist in the mix. In 10 seconds. And in five seconds, we have our break. Two, one. All right, here we go. So this is a crescent lunge twist. So we put the green foot forward, we twist, and then we come up, forward fold. We go back down, we twist. We come up, forward fold, we go back down, we twist. And there you have it. So you just keep moving. Really try to straighten that back leg if you can. Push the heel towards the floor, although I don't expect your feet, your heel to touch. If it does, you're amazing. You are a freak. You could be possibly related to Gumby. Forward fold. If you can keep your hands on the ground for the fold, that's great. Otherwise, do your best. Put your hands on your knees if you have to. We got that front leg bent in front of us. Oh boy. Three, two, one. So the next move we have is a mudra lunge warrior three. So your hands are clasped behind your back. You're in this lunge and you're just coming forward, very controlled and you're balancing. And then you sink back down into it. Now, if you can't transition with the mudra, you release and let your hands help balance and then come back down. Clasp them and stretch. We're getting the front of that chest. Chest stretched out. Gemini Christmas tongue twister. But if you can keep that mudra the whole time, awesome. If you can just link the fingers, that's great. If you can get your palms together, that's even greater. But you're just gonna have to balance. And remember, don't be scared to let those hands down in between. You can touch or you can do a regular warrior three. Two, one, break. So we switch. My leg is probably on fire. Sorry. Okay. We switch legs. We get down in that mudra or in that lunge with the mudra and control the balance. So if you're sticking to this move the whole time, you go down, you come back up. That way you get a good stretch, a good balance. Challenge it. Pick something to stare at on the floor. That way you don't move your eyes all over the place and lose your balance. Don't do a head plant into the house plant, face plant, hand plant. Oh boy. Those are burning those legs. You're gonna wanna shake those arms out in three, two, one, shake them out. We have a chair twist to a forward fold. Kick the legs, shake them. So basically you go chair, we go one, two, three, 
four, forward fold. Stretch for a second, right back in. So chair, one, two, three, four, forward fold. Try to keep your weight in your heels this whole time. You should be able to point the toes up even in the chair. Toes pointing up like elf shoes. Not Elvis's shoes, I didn't say blue suede shoes, I said elf shoes. One, two, three, four, forward fold. And then we've got about 12 seconds left. And if you want that forward fold longer, hang out in it, stretch. Work on your flexibility. If your hands only touch the shins, that's cool. Break. So. Last move, first round, twisted lizard. Twisted lizard. So that elbow is going to be really low. And we're coming one side, we come up, we switch, switch, drop that elbow down, turn, come up. And there we go. So I'll come this way so you can see it. Boom, boom, drop it, turn. Lizard, drop, turn. Twisted, lizard, switch. If you can't get all the way down, just stick to the old lizard twist we were doing. Otherwise, drop that elbow, twist it, challenge it, stretch that hamstring, stretch that hip. You can hold the stretch longer if you want, but either way, you got three, two, one, break. And now, as usual, I'm a ding dong and I didn't add 10 moves to the timer, so I'm hitting restart. We're running that timer one more time through. And from the top, scorpion to twisted, scorpion to lizard lunge, twist. So here we are, we're on the twist. And we're going both sides. And then that foot goes up, back. Get one side, get the other side. And then back. If one side's too challenging, that's fine. Work your way to it. Just try to switch as controlled and balanced as you can. Don't rush through these moves. Tongue twister, tongue twister. Who's that guy that's got the twisted tongue that can't say what the moves are? And he won't stop singing five. Four, three, two, one, back to the middle. So you know, we're switching legs. Scorpion to lizard, lunge, twist. On the left, did you see that? I did it right. Okay, here we are, we're in it. We twist, we twist. Foot up into the scorpion, and we twist. Oh boy, and we twist, and when you start to realize you're getting wobbly, that's when you really know you're working. You're challenging those muscles. You're doing things you're not used to doing. And that's making your body have to adapt. Constant confusion. Constant confusion. If you don't do yoga on a regular basis, this is still fun. This is still challenging. You may feel like you're uncoordinated, but that's the point. When you, when you nail these moves, or even halfway do these moves, everything else you do in life is easier. Break! Okay, runner, lunge, two, low lunge. So, two, one, we stretch that front, nice and good, get a good stretch. And then we come up, and we stretch that back leg. Oh, yeah. And then we stretch. You got it. You can hold these moves. A little bit longer if you want. If it's just feeling that much that right to you, otherwise, keep it, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it, keep it moving. There's all these options. Once you hit play on this, it's yours. It's not mine anymore. It belongs to you. You take it. You do whatever you want with it. You do, you do the things you want to it. Seven, four, and break. All right, we're switching legs. Here we go. Keep 
keep breathing through the nose, out the mouth, stretch that back leg, and then forward. Oh man, that feels amazing. My microphone's hanging out of my pocket. I better put it back in there. Keep moving, keep grooving, you know, or whatever you do when you move. If you don't groove while you move, that's fine. If you don't like the music, well, sorry. I just try to pick stuff that's, you know, musical. It has music. <clears throat> I don't like to do just some crazy, extremely relaxing meditation music for yoga. I like to have a little bit of buddy bop squeeze. Break. Sorry. All right, here we go. We're going up to the crescent lunge switch. So, very simply, Get in that crescent lunge, whichever foot you decide to put forward, you, you, you lunge it out, you switch, boom, and bring that foot forward, control it. Try to make sure that front leg is nice and set before you push up. Put all your weight in your heel, and you may be wobbling at this point a lot. I know I am. That's fine. No, I don't think we've been drinking. I think we've just been doing some a yoga hit, a little bit of yoga hit. We could just call this poga, and then you know when it's poga, it's power, yoga, hit, poetic style. You know, or don't you? Or do you know, or don't you? Three, two, one. Way to work. Crescent lunge, twist, switch with a forward fold. So we can start in the forward fold right here. And we'll just step back into the lunge and we twist. And we come back to the forward fold and step back on the other side and twist. And we come up and then we step back. And you know, yep, exactly, that's right. And then, exactly, and then, yep. But after that, perfect. And then, <laughs> you got it. Pick your speed, pick your pace, and if I am just annoying you, sorry, that's what I do, that's what I do, professional annoyer, oh, five seconds, four seconds, and break. All right, you know what we got next. We got that mudra lunge warrior mudra warrior mudra three so get the mudra get a nice stretch we're gonna keep the mudra nice control sink on it lift up I'm just showing you the slow motion way to control it boom you don't have to just fly forward and lose your balance you sink your weight into that front foot so you're balanced control it use the core back up otherwise bring it forward Hands down for a little balance. Here on the shin, whatever you need, one down. Drop back into it. Mm. You got it. Now if you can get up in that three, and you can just chill, that's gonna be challenging on its own. Two, one, break. So now, we're gonna switch legs. We gotta hit the other side because it's, oh, lightheaded, so jealous. Man, that got me. We come forward, you drop it back down. Oh, man. You got it. Back down. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. Arms on fire, if they start to tingle from the blood not flowing, shake them, drop them down, bring them back in when you can or when you need to, just keep challenging yourself, oh my goodness, everything is wobbly at this point, everything is wobbly at this point, two, one, oh boy, okay, chair twist, the forward fold, Get in a nice 
chair. Three, two, one. We hit the one, two, three, four. And we just get a nice forward stretch. Back to it. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. One, two, weight in heels three, weight in heels four. Keep the weight in the heels. Well, shoes the whole time. Weight in the heels. Weight in the heels. Weight in the heels. And yes, in the heels. I'm whispering now because, oh, I need that oxygen. Boom. One more. Bang. And ball. You got it. One. And break. So we got one move left. Lizard, twi twisted lizard, switch. So we get down low, that elbow's on the ground, that arm goes up, feel that hip stretch, hand comes down, get it up, switch it, switch it, down. And we got that stretch, and we come back over and get it up. That's what she said, we get the switch, boom. Give you this front view just so you can see the hand. We go down, elbow, we twist, we help, come back up, bow, switch it, switch it, drop it, pop it. Oh, it's challenging. Oh, it's challenging. But you know what? We are challenging -ers. We, we love a challenge is what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. We love a challenge and that's it. However, I needed to put one more on this other side because it needs to be balanced. Oh yeah. And that, my friends, when I end with this forward fold and I slowly roll up, stacking that spine and I put those arms up above my head. I poke that belly button out way out there, way out there. Ooh. Get one good side bend. Oh, yep, there went a good pop -rooney. Let's get one on this side. No pop on that side. However, that was fun. Tongue twisting power yoga hit for flexibility, balance, and help with enunciation. As you can tell, I was stumbling through the moves and my speech. So it was, it was a challenge all around. Thank you guys for being here. Let me know. Do you crack your joints? Do you go to the chiropractor and someone cracks them for you? Or are you the like, that ain't happening. You ain't cracking my joints. Kind of person. <sighs> Thank you. Like, subscribe, share, comment. See you next time. And don't forget, like an elephant, they never forget. <laughs>